Hello, my name is Hinek Picard and I'm one of two directors of MSC Population Health together with Martin Bulbach and I want to welcome you to UCL and to our MSC program in Population Health. The MSC in Population Health is placed with an Institute of Epidemiology and Healthcare in the Faculty of Population Health Sciences. The overarching mission of the Institute is to improve population health and reduce health inequalities. And in addition, to train next generation of population health experts, epidemiologists and public health leaders. We are a multidisciplinary institute with academics, researchers and teaching fellows coming from a range of disciplines and backgrounds starting from public health, epidemiology, to social sciences, psychology and medicine. This course uh, will take 12 months. You will have combination of taught classes, modules, where you will learn new knowledge, new skills, and then you will also do your summer project dissertation on the topic which uh, hopefully will be of your interest. As a student of population health, you will learn how to define and measure population health. You will discuss and debate the role of social determinants of health, discuss inequalities in health populations, links between environment and health. You will discuss the role and importance of health policy and health systems, and you will learn how to develop and evaluate interventions to improve health of public. You will develop a range of skills in epidemiology, quantitative and qualitative methods, and evaluation of evidence. Why to study at UCL? UCL is one of the oldest and the most progressive universities in the UK. It was the first in England to welcome students of any religion or social background. It was the first to welcome women to university education. And for example, more recently, it was the first in England to have fully open access university press. You will become a member of UCL community, community which is very large. This year we have approximately 44,000 students and more than 14,000 employees. We are multi-faculty university with 11 academic faculties. We are a research strong university. We have been positioned as the first in the UK for research strengths. We are also an academic university. We have more than 440 undergraduate programs and 675 postgraduate programs. And we have very large number of PhD students. And last but not least, we are located really at the center, at the heart of one of the world's most dynamic cities. We are located very close to British Museum, Houses of Parliament, Tate Modern. So basically in the walking distance, you will get everywhere in the center of London. Not only that we have been ranked first in the UK in terms of research strengths, but we are very highly positioned in international comparisons. For example, we have been positioned as 10th in the world university rankings 2021. And in terms of public health, we are ranked as 7th in the world. What does that mean for you? You will be part of this 
Research Inst Intensive Institute. You will meet daily and you will be taught daily by internationally renowned staff and you will have opportunity to deal with real world problems on a daily basis. What can you expect from us during your year at UCL? You can expect excellent teaching. You can expect a curriculum that is embedded in research. You can expect respectful and non-judgmental staff and colleagues, peers. You can expect an opportunity to immerse yourself in learning. You will be supported by program team that will support your learning journey throughout the year. And you will be also given personal tutors to provide pastoral care throughout the year. What we expect from you? We expect that you will be our partners in learning. We expect 100% commitment to your studies. And we also expect that you will take active role in the UCL community and in London community in general. In the most recent postgraduate survey, our students said that they are all happy with the support for their learning that they receive from the staff on their course. Over 85% of the students also reported being satisfied with the overall quality of the course. And when we asked more specifically, here are a few responses from individual students. One of the students, for example, said that the most enjoyable or interesting part of the course is the responses to questions from the teachers. Other student mentioned the most enjoyable or interesting part of the course being how statistics modules build up on one another. And another student mentioned that the most enjoyable or interesting part of the course was that tutors are always willing to help. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, course structure. So, so as I said, course is divided to two major parts, taught modules and dissertation. Taught modules are further divided into core modules. So we have core modules in term one, four core modules, and then every student chooses for optional or elective modules in terms two and three. And then in the final part of the course, over the summer, students complete their dissertation. Four core modules that are taught in term one include core concepts in population health, basic statistics for medical sciences, epidemiology or epidemiological theory, and health systems in global context. The most exciting part comes in terms two and three, where each student can choose four optional or elective modules from wide range of options. You see a few options listed here on the slide. And you can see the wide range of opportunities, key principles of health economics, urban health, advanced statistical modeling, social determinants of global health, immunization communicable diseases, public health in practice. And this is only a subset of potential options. So it's rather hard sometimes to choose the four modules which may be interesting for you. Naturally, every module is being assessed, but we try 
to come with range of different assessments. He tried to come with the assessments which will really simulate real life situations, situations which people face every day. So there will be some exams with short answer questions, but we will also ask you to write essays. You may be asked to write a grant proposal. You will be doing critical appraisal of literature. You will be asked to prepare data analysis report, and you will be also asked throughout the year to prepare several oral presentations. And these presentations will be individual, paired, or grouped. So there is a combination of different methods of assessment throughout the year. And as I have already mentioned, the year ends with preparation of dissertation. You will have summer months to prepare a dissertation and dissertation may take different form. You can choose to do secondary data analysis using some publicly available open access data sets, surveillance data or data held by students supervisor. And this secondary data analysis can be analysis of both quantitative or qualitative data. Some students will prepare systematic literature review and will do meta-analysis. And some other students may do some limited primary data collection, usually using qualitative analytical methods. So to summarize, this degree is for you if you are passionate about making a positive change in the world, if you are enthusiastic to understand and debate the issues surrounding determinants of health and health inequalities, or if you are interested to join a diverse student cohort and become part of global network of population health alumni. And if you stay with us and complete your degree, you will become alumni who may take up the post, for example, as public health specialist, epidemiologist, data analyst. Among first destinations of our graduates, uh, we have individuals working in local public health departments or other government departments. We have individuals working in non-government organizations, pharmaceutical companies, health insurance, or in health data companies, and really not a small part of our graduates continue in academia, either as researchers or they pursue further postgraduate studies. And that's it. I hope you will decide to join our academic community and to become postgraduate student in our department. If you need some further information, please contact either my colleague Martin Bobak or me. And if you would like to speak to some alumni from the program, please let us know. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.